Hello everybody, today is Try It Peter. Interestingly enough, Try It Peter is tip. So that worked out well because I'm giving you all these great tips with Try It Peter on what you can use. And I'm hoping to bring uh, different types of things to you and do different types of things so that you can either have a laugh or also give them a go if it works. Today we're going to be talking about activated charcoal for teeth whitening. Now this particular brand is also a face mask, so you can use it as a face mask as well. I will be doing that on Try It Peter, maybe down the track a bit, but today it's for the teeth. I have taken a photo of what my, the colour of my teeth before I started uh, doing this in the video, so you will have a comparison afterwards to see if there's any difference. And if there is, well maybe I'll keep using it, if there's not, I'll trash it. Okay, so this is made out of coconut husks. Okay, it's a face mask, skincare, and teeth whitening. So all it is is pure coconut husks. Now, with the directions on this, um, the uh, label information is that it says it's 100% activated charcoal powder. It says to store in a dry place and keep away from sun. Uh, do not use if the seal has been tampered with. Well, that's obvious. And also, if you have a breakout um, or any sort, or to get any irritation, stop using it. And these are things, you know, common sense things anyway. All right, so uh, the things for our teeth. Now, I don't know, there's a lot of things that cause our teeth to discolour. Um, it could be aging, it could be, you know, drinking lots of red wine, tea and coffee, smoking cigarettes, all of those things cause your teeth to colour or discolour. Now it's really, really important that you do use correct products and this is why I'm trying this first and hoping that it will be okay. And um, you know, and, and that's what it is with your teeth. You have to make sure that you don't do too much on your teeth, that you do polish it, but you don't destroy the enamel. Now I will be using this with toothpaste and it does say to do it on the label to use it with toothpaste and we'll talk about that later and I'll show you later. I don't think I would use this neat up against the teeth. I don't think I would just drop my toothpaste brush into it and then clean my teeth with it. I really don't think, I'm not confident to do that. So this is saying to use toothpaste with it and I think that's a good idea. All right, well, let's go and have a look and see what activated charcoal can do for teeth whitening. All righty, well, let's give this a go and see what it, how it works. I have put a picture here of what color my teeth were before I started using them, but I just wanted to have a picture today of what they, the color they were before I did this, so there might be some before and after comparison miraculously if it starts working right away. Now, as we read before, the directions say that uh, you have to use it two times a day for about two weeks to start seeing results, but let's have a look and see what it's like first to, to get the feel of it and what it tastes like and all that sort of thing. This is a brand new toothbrush and on the label it says that your toothbrush will turn black using this and that makes sense because it's a black powder. Now I use, is it the right way? Yes, Grant's toothpaste that I get at Woolies in Australia. I don't use fluoride toothpaste at all. I don't drink fluorinated water and haven't done for around 26 years so this is my personal preference because I don't want fluoride in my body basically so this is why I haven't done it. So this is a a non-fluoride um, toothpaste that you can get from Woolworths here in Australia. It's called Mild Mint, it's Grant's. It actually is an Australian product uh, uh, made in Australia so I'm not sure whether anyone overseas can get this to be honest with you. You might, I don't know but um, certainly you can get it here. It's free, it says here it's free of fluorides, SLS and parabens natural toothpaste. So that's really good and I have been using this for quite a long time. So the directions on the label say to put some toothpaste on the toothbrush. So I think that's really good because you're not um, you're not sort of using it neat and I think that's a very good idea because I think it might be a bit strong if you use it neat. Now this is really hard to do on camera it's really easy to do it every day, but when you're on camera, of course, it makes it a bit more difficult. Okay, so I've got the toothpaste on my brush, and and I'm just dipping it in. So I'm dipping it into there. I'm not using tons of it, I'm just dipping it in and closing the lid because, it, you know, if you knock the lid over, the black will go everywhere. 
Um, right, so here we go. I'm going to put it into my mouth. I've got my cup of water so I can spit it into another things here. So let's have a go and see what it looks like. It's okay so far. Mm -hmm. Not too well. Now it doesn't taste like anything. Only thing, only thing you're going to have to be worried about is the mess it makes. Right, oh man. I'm trying not to flick it so it goes onto the camera or the screen. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you'll flick it if you're going like this all over the mirror. Um, depending on how you use your, your toothbrush. Um, you might have to modify if you move it this way because it'll flick everywhere. Um, hmm, hang on now. Wow, sorry I couldn't talk. It'll flick everywhere. And um, I can imagine the big mess it's going to make. So let's just keep going. Well, have I got toothpaste here? What's that? I think that was toothpaste. I don't know how I did that. I hope it doesn't make my lips go black. I look like something out of a horror movie. Mm. 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 I don't know if when you clean your tongue, but it makes me gag. Ah. Uh. John actually calls me his little ooh ah because I gag at everything, so I'm always going ooh ah because okay, I'm doing it now. <coughs> oh no, sorry. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh -huh. I wonder if it's changing colour. Okay. So what I'm going to do is rinse my mouth. Mm-hmm. Yuck. 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 But it doesn't matter. Now, of course, I've got a, a white cloth, but no. Oh. That's all I've got at the moment. So I'm just gonna, wait on, let me see. Mm, okay, so my mouth is, um, mm. you will have to rinse your mouth obviously, but what it does is actually catches up other things in your mouth. Uh, and your tongue black, and my lips up here are black, so just let, uh, I think, I think when you're using it, you'll have to be careful as to how you're using it so it's not flicking everywhere. But what do you think, everyone? Okay, so what I would suggest is you tell us. So maybe you guys could tell us what you do to keep your teeth white. That would be fantastic. Or, you know, home remedies, whatever it is you've done to keep your teeth white, because it is a bit of a problem at times, especially as you age, your teeth do get uh, more uh, discolored. So... Um, it's really good to have some suggestions. So this is my suggestion. Bioglan Bio activated charcoal beauty powder. So tell me what you think. Do you see any difference or not? So do remember to subscribe to the channel because when you do subscribe you get all these great updates. And also remember to like the video because when you like the video it helps me in the ranks of YouTube and I would really appreciate it. Alright guys, well you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.